close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next breath, and then with the next. Try to keep at this. Part of the mind might say, well, why are we doing this? It's because we have good examples from the past. People who've trained their minds, focusing on the breath, focusing on the present moment. They found happiness that way, and they passed on the skill onto us. This is what it means to take refuge. When we say we take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, it's not like the Buddha is going to come down and save us from ourselves. We have to learn how to save ourselves from ourselves on our own, but we have his guidance and we have his example. Because we look around, everybody wants happiness, and there's so many different ways that people are looking for happiness, so many different examples. And it's very easy to get taken in by the flashy ones, the ones that get a lot of attention, the ones that have a lot of wealth, a lot of power, a lot of praise, a lot of status. And the question is, is that where real happiness lies? And the Buddha says, there is some pleasure there, but it's got dangerous. When you have wealth and status, people come to you, you don't know what they're coming for. When they're trying to be friendly, you don't know why they're being friendly. When people are praising you, you have to wonder, why are they praising me? What do they want to get out of me? So These things are not really safe. The real kind of happiness, the safe happiness, comes from developing the mind through generosity, through virtue, and through the meditation. That's the message of the Buddha, and the Dharma, and the Sangha. And so we take refuge in them. We say, okay, we're going to try to take them as examples of how to find true happiness, which means we have to develop the qualities that they had. The Buddha had wisdom. We try to develop wisdom. He was a person of purity in his actions. In other words, he made sure that not only did he not want to harm anybody, he actually didn't harm anybody, either himself or other people, through what he said or thought or, or did. And he was also a person of compassion. He spent all those years helping other people and found true happiness in spreading goodness around. That's the kind of goodness that's safe. When you have a ha happiness that depends on wealth, happiness that depends on status, happiness that depends on praise, it's so easily taken away from you. And it's nothing that's going to st land for, last for very long. And then when you come crashing down, what have you got? And if that's where your happiness was, then you're, you're pretty poor off. But if your happiness comes from within, then you can have wealth and status and praise and learn how to use them well. You have the opportunity when you have wealth to be generous. When you have status, you have the opportunity to do good for other people. When people praise you, you can take confidence in the fact that I'm doing something right, but maybe I can do it even better. That way you learn how to live with these things and not suffer from them, and not cause yourself any trouble from them, and not be a danger to yourself. So the word for taking refuge can also mean to keep something in mind. Sarana means to remember. So you try to remember the example of the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha as you look for happiness in life. And that's when you find that you're safe from dangers outside and dangers inside. You're safe even from the, the good things of the world, things that are so easy to misuse. You have the wisdom inside, you have developed that compassion to want to help people, and you have the purity to be clear about what you're actually doing. You can take the good things and even the bad things of the world and you get good use out of them. That's a sign of real wisdom, a sign of happiness and a mind that's really, really solid. That's the kind of example that's set by the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and that's the kind of example we want to follow if we want to find a happiness that's solid, too.